What's up chaps? Today we're going to take a look at how the scooter's condition is after 210 kilometers. I've been doing 30 k's a day for a whole week and it has certainly taken its toll on this scooter. So with regards to the actual frame, there's nothing wrong with it, it's still working 100%, brake is still fine. But what we do have here is extreme wear and tear on the wheels. So you can see there's a massive chunk lost from that wheel over there. And let's just give it a little roll. You can see there's more chunks gone. So that's the condition of the front wheel. It's pretty fucked. Bearings are still good though, so I'm probably just going to take these bearings out. And uh, the scooter is um, uncomfortable to ride at the moment because of the wheels. Let's take a look at the rear wheel. Let's see what condition that's in. Right. Surprisingly, the rear wheel is actually in better condition than the front wheel. And it's surprising because most of my weight is on the rear wheel. So that is interesting. So you can see there's a backup scooter over here, Pauline also got one and it's got a nice disc brake attached to it so I'll be using this one in the meantime while I wait for the rubber wheels that I ordered. You can see these rubber wheels are doing a lot better, they're a lot more durable than the polyurethane wheels and uh, this scooter actually uh, brakes with the disc brake and this lever brake over here so you definitely have some good stopping power. Here you can see the rubber wheels that I've placed an order for. They're actually quite similar to the wheels on Pauline's scooter. If not identical, they look pretty much identical. And they're not the cheapest wheels ever at uh, 20 euro per wheel. But I do think they will last a significantly longer time than these polyurethane wheels that came with the scooter. And here we have the mileage on the scooter. 210 kilometers like I said in just one week of riding so that's quite a decent amount of training on the scooter but uh, it proved to be too much for the polyurethane wheels. My conclusion based on this set of polyurethane wheels is that they aren't pragmatic when riding out on the road unless you're going to be riding on super smooth roads all the time. Ideally you want to have a skate park type of smoothness when you're using polyurethane wheels I know that you do get a different softness and hardness of the compound wheels but I'm not so sure if it's going to make that much of a difference over uh, gravel and rougher roads. There's a, this um, type of rough surface really chews away at the wheel quickly and after 210 kilometers, if you're riding at 20 kilometers per hour that's about just over 10 hours of riding, that's not a lot of riding time for the scooter. Okay, I get it if you're going to be doing commutes of like one or two kilometers, but if you're going to be using the thing seriously, training with it and using it for touring, then polyurethane wheels are not pragmatic and rubber wheels should be the way to go. So I'm going to, when I get the rubber wheels in two weeks from now, I'm going to put them on and I will let you guys know how those roll.